Hey everyone, it is Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what we are going to be using for math for the 2022-2023 homeschool year. And oh my goodness, we're going into fifth grade, our last year of elementary school. That went by way too fast. Stick around and we'll get started. with you the curriculum that we are using and I'm also going to sh share with you the supplements that we're going to be using along with the curriculum um, and mostly because you know I bought them so I could use them right so we are making a huge change for fifth grade math humongous change this was a, a curriculum quite frankly that I've been afraid of and I've been a homeschooler for a very long time I started in the mid 1990s and I've always stayed clear of this curriculum but sometimes you got to step outside of your box and it was time to do that. We loved the curriculum that we've been using. There was nothing wrong with it, but I just felt it was time for a change. So drum roll, please. We are going to be using, hold on a minute. I have to go get the other book. I have it together now. So we are going to be using Saxon Math 5-4. And if you're not familiar with Saxon, but I think most people are, it comes with three books. So it has the student book, which is basically the instruction, you know, student instruction, all the lessons in this big old book. And it also comes with the solutions manual and comes with the tests and the worksheets. And yes, if you haven't noticed, there are little stickies in there because we've already started this curriculum. And so we are finishing up um, Math Lessons for a Living Education Level 4 because it's we're at the very end of it anyways and it's like the review section and I think review is amazing. So we are gonna keep doing that, but we've also started this. So yeah, we're kind of already stepping into the fifth grade thing. So now let me share with you so some of the One of the things that we're gonna be using this year is the Usborne's Illustrated Elementary Math Dictionary. Um, I think this is going to be a resource that we're just gonna be using for a long time. It has all kinds of good stuff in here. Um, if you're interested in on seeing what is inside, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do a video just for this. And also we are going to continue working through these channies one page a day practice. And we have the single digit division. We have the two digit multiplication practice and the level one fractions. And if you wanna take a look at this particular group of goodies, I did do a video and a flip through of these and I'll try to remember to leave it in the i There you have it. That's what we are going to be using for the 2022-2023 school year for math fifth grade. We are very excited. Stay tuned. I am going to be doing a video explaining to you why we made the switch and, you know, all of that good stuff if you're interested. So God bless. Take care and I'll talk to you in the next.